lol let's install uh, dwm on arch linux so you can install dwm by using sudo pacman you need to install these uh, dependencies first so if you install these dependencies like xog x server xog x at root xog x init so these three are uh, like the dependencies for dwm and you have to install a compositor so i'm using pycom then i'm using like nitrogen for like wallpaper pycom for compositor you can use uh, compton or pycom whichever you may like um, nitrogen of a for your wallpaper and base devil packages for uh, getting the base development packages so that you can like uh, compile and install dwm so i'm going to remove my st and dwm directory so i'm going to start fresh so we have to clone the dwm like from the circular git so git clone https colon slash slash git dot circular like circular dot org slash dwm so if you do that it's going to clone dwm into your home directory dwm expects like uh, your default terminal expected by dwm is st or the simple terminal so you can also get that by replacing the dwm instead of dwm you can use st git clone same pattern and instead of dwm you can use st so it's going to download now the next thing is we have to go inside dwm directory so if we cd inside dwm directory we can see if we do an ls we have two configs so you can see config dev.h and config.h after the install so now you just have config.make so we can like view your configuration by using config. Uh, dev.h you can view the current configuration over here so i would recommend you do not touch this configuration file like it's always a good practice to have a copy so you do a sudo make clean install so it's going to just plainly install your dwm so now if you do an ls you are going to have config dev.h and config.h so if we use vim and config dot h we are going to have like two configuration one is like kind of like we can keep the dev dot h as a backup configuration so if you do some modifications in config dot h you are going to have them over here like for example if you go down over here you have your mod key so default mod key is alt or mod 1 key you can replace that by hitting mod 4 key instead of mod 4 like mod 1 you have like uh, your key bindings and all these things now right now i'm not going to touch anything next thing we are going to reinstall sudo make clean install so it's going to reinstall our dwm with mod key as super key then i'm going to cd and i'm going to cd into st directory so simple terminal so here i'm not even going to touch the config i'm just going to install sudo make clean install So that is done now if we do cd to home directory now the next thing we are going to do is cp slash hc x11 xinit xinit rc to our home folder so after that we are going to see like use our text editor dot xinit rc open that up and go down you can see these lines like twm after this fy you can delete all these lines over here and you can use uh, you can specify your compositor by com send so this one is going to be compositor and next one is going to be like window manager so 
I'm going to use exec load by dwm. So I'm going to save that. So it's written. So I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to type startx startx. So it's going to open up dwm for us. So by default, when you open up dwm, this will be like your vanilla dwm. You don't have a wallpaper like you have this background you have uh, just dwm 6.2 or dwm version written over here and these are the number of workspaces so either you can switch using mod key and the number of workspace or you can use your mouse to click you can switch like that this is like uh, the master slave layout and the floating layout you can switch among the layouts over here if you click that or you can use mod and space key and if you want to open up your terminal you can use mod shift and enter that is if you have changed to mod for mask that is windows key shift and enter if you haven't done anything it's alt shift and enter so that will open up st so inside st if you want to increase your font size you can use control shift and page up so if you don't want to do that like if you want something like default you can go to cd inside st and you can open up the configuration file config.h and here you can like uh, you have your font configuration for your simple terminal so 18 mm, wait Then I'm going to change the font liberation mono to source code pro. Bold. So you have like multiple options over here. Like if you want to change something inside your simple terminal, you can do that. You can like these are the color options you have you can customize the color over here mm, something like the one you can use that but i'm not going to change anything let's leave it as it is sudo make clean install so if you don't get any errors and it compiles successfully you have uh, you successfully compiled or modified your ST's configuration so it's restarted mod shift enter now you can see you have like different font and different font size we can change the color of uh, these things if you want so if you cd into dwm and if you do an ls you have uh, again this config.h so we are going to my modifications only to this one so if we mess something up we can just copy like we can use this configuration file that is we can cp config.def.h to like config.h so it what it will do is like it will copy this configuration and paste it as this name so you will have like the stock configuration like it's like a dead restore policy if you want to use so vim config.h so see you can see the fonts and all these things over here if you want you can change these colors so there is an excellent way of uh, changing your font colors like you can open up if you use mod np you can use your d menu if you have a browser you can open up that so i'm going to open up firefox now i'm going to search color palette if I search color palette I'm going to see like multiple websites from any of those websites I'm going to find the codes color code so what we are going to do is we are going to copy these colors and we are going to replace it over here so remove 
move this to workspace number two mod shift and two to move it to second workspace modify this like that and if we to move to workspace number two mod and two we can see another color so we are going to copy that again mod one to go back to first workspace now we change that Mod 2 again, copy that. Paste. You can like, now we have changed our color codes, like color for DWM and if you go down, you have all these things like key bindings. Like if you wanna modify your key bindings, if you don't want, if you want to open up your terminal with just mod and enter, you can like delete this shift mask. You can do that. And if you need to change something like this, close. Um, I like to use the close window key as mod and X if you like by default it's going to be mod shift and c but i'm going to change that to mod and x so i think that's that i'm going to save and i'm going to do another install so it's going to install dwm and mod shift and q to exit out of dwm and we do start x so if something like this happened probably you messed up so your color scheme is not being detected by DWM. So what we are going to do is CD into DWM and we are going to do exactly what I said. Config dev.h. We are going to copy that. Then we are going to reinstall sudo make clean install. Now if we do like start x again, voila, DWM is opening up again without any issues. I think I have saved some configuration over here somewhere, I'm not sure, yeah. So if I conf copy this configuration.f.h to slash d DWM slash have that now I'm going to CD into DWM again P config now if I do a sudo make clean install I'm going to have my custom DWM like I have changed the color scheme already once so you know that thing works you can see it works over here but sometime when you modify it like will not respond to your color scheme so you have to modify it again we can add our status bar over here like here we have only like just dwm 6.2 written so the way we do this is like exit root we use exit root so exit root if you use exit root dash name and followed by something like hello long or something if you do that you can see the dwm like sorry the dwm 6.2 have been replaced with hello so we are going to use this same idea so i have already prepared a configuration script so you have to add few lines to your xnet rc so this is for volume and this is for the battery and I'm going to use exit root dash name to display contents of this function and the battery function to this bar. So technically we are going to have a status bar. I will copy this like I will leave a path to this in the description if you want to borrow. So I'm going to replace my xnet rc with that 
now if I do a mod shift Q and if I do a restart you can see I do have a status bar now I have a wallpaper because I have added nitrogen and you can see this is for the battery and this is for the audio like volume and the date can show you one more time what's inside what's in it so this is terminator i have changed from st to terminator so if you go to like my accent configuration i have uh, i'm using also mixer or a mixer to get the volume and i'm using arc and set to separate and just display the volume alone the like the amount of volume present right now so this is like at 100 percent right now and you can see the battery status i'm using this function to like this will refresh every minute like also and get the status of battery and volume and i'm piping that information inside the exit root command as before like if you do an exit rule dash name followed by inside the quotes if you use something it's going to be displayed over here so i'm using that technique to add this information to this so here you have to be careful if you are using some specific unicode over here sometimes dwm will not start so you have to be careful with that so you may have like failure while you use something like characters like this so you have to be careful so instead you can just use like VOL or VATT or something and this is for my compositor I'm using a fade picom dash fade and nitrogen dash dash restore ampersand I forgot need to send it to background to send it to background so I need the percent and num log x because I have a number pad I'm using that then exec dwm so that's how you use and work with dwm so if you want to copy this color scheme uh, it's plain and simple if I like open config.h you can see this is the color scheme which I'm using right now instead of the default color scheme 